point, Danny. I just got to. Not again. I tell you, Doctor, this could change the world. And I told him that if he ever put a hash cake in my lunchbox again, he'd be taking a face-down kick on a bed of nails. I gave him to Harry, who then went and attacked our shop manager. Okay. Oh, man, is that you? Yeah. Get off the bloody machine. And, oh, man, I got frames today. Possession of narcotics. Tragic. Now get off the bloody line. I have one of the world's foremost scientific minds waiting to hear from me over the global multimedia communications network. Well, he can kiss my ass. Not from Germany, he can't. At least, not unless he goes through Poland's new exchange. Actually, this machine's pretty nifty. I appreciate that. Now get off the bloody line. Does this thing actually cut our bills in half? Not with a mouth like yours around. Get off the bloody line. Hang on, I want to hear the narcotics story. Who the hell is talking to you? Sancho, things to remember. It's still wrecking the scan security system on extension line. Now listen, you two. If you both don't hang up, I'm going to send a high voltage electric pulse down this line that will cauterize your mouth ulcers. Dr. Von Crab in the Crib? Dr. Von Crab in the Crib? No! Damnation! Why do you want us to talk to you when you treat them like that? I am trying to become one of the world's foremost scientific minds. I have a machine which can put me in contact with every research centre, think tank and science lab on Earth. The only thing I need to become the next Einstein is a scientific breakthrough. I think you mean Frankenstein. Why not? I already have a misshapen assistant. This country's not your assistant. Dave Couch, I demand that you leave my equipment alone. One day, I shall overcome these test these obstacles, and become a well-respected scientist. Perhaps it is part of destiny that great men are surrounded by fools in their early days. Let me bring you back to reality. Your medieval castle is an obsolete nuclear bunker. In your laboratory is a disused lavatory. So what's your point? My point is, if you lease one of these monstrosities to a film producer, then maybe we could afford a mortgage on a place that hasn't been a tramp's lavatory since the Cold War ended. Sixteen months of bleach just isn't doing the trick. Speaking about money, isn't it about time you put something in the kitty? I've only got so much to spend. Do you mean, Lemon? You've only got so much to spend? Your parents gave you 20000 when they moved back to Transylvania. East Germany. They gave me that money for accommodation and examination fees. Since you and Dakota moved in last year, 17,000 has gone on takeaways, videos, and lager. So, how much have we got left? Not counting this month's mortgage and housekeeping, about enough for an away day to get to a lost luggage office. Which is how much? 161 pounds. Other people have tried it. I believe the term is counterfeiting. None of us would ever stoop to counterfeiting, Dave. Not since Mickey Mouse's face ended up on last month's housekeeping. 
I'll tell you, if that guy on the Chinese takeaway hadn't just got off the boat, he would have spotted that. He did. I spent two minutes seeing zippity doo -dah with him. But this is beside the point. Tandy are interested in this latest device I'm working on. It will cost fifteen ninety nine, and I can make one a month. Great profit margin, Alma. That's our income problem solved. It won't we'll take up a full 24 hours. Kirsty Brown will be ready by tonight. What, do you actually have a date? No, sorry, watching. I've got to get to coach from his camera up a tree in Kirsty's back garden. That's as close to her house as you're ever going to get. Not true. I got to see her bedroom that time he sent me to retrieve the electric toothbrush overcharged. Sounds not. Remember to finish off paying the damages to Miss Brennan's window. Apologise to the person. I did. Without a mask. She's probably losing sleep wondering what Batman did to warrant an apology. Never mind what the bloody hell he's doing in Sussex. Why do you try and be brave for once in your life? It's not fair. I just don't have any practice in apologising to someone's face. I normally just fax them. Very touching. What does your machine do anyway? It creates an energy field that manipulates space and time and runs on electricity. Bull. Seriously? Well, not a huge amount of energy, all it's really good for is putting a light show. I need your help to do it on a car park. Car park? It runs off the car batteries. Get to coat it uh, He's expendable. I need someone who is well known and do it all. The coach said you had done a job there. Yes, but they didn't find out until after the bank holiday. Alright. Alright. I'll get the coach to do it. Where is that hideous little shit? Oh, he's um, outside for preparing for his audition. Go fetch! Why we have to live in a bunker 20 feet under the ground, I'll never know. You got yourself shaving? No, Elmer's talons. Oh. I swear one of these days I'm going to get him when he's sleeping and cut his nails. <sighs> Who's on the phone? Uh, Paramount Pictures, something about the next Indiana Jones movie? wasn't funny. Nervous enough as it is with this audition I've got coming up this afternoon. This could be my big break. Yeah, I remember your last big break, your ankle, wasn't it? Anyway, yeah, uh, good luck. No, never wish an actor good luck. Well, if you call yourself an actor, break a leg, and I don't mean literally. Thank you. I'll uh, see you after work. You can tell me how it went. Something up. 
another plan to conquer the world. Remember that time we broke in? Yeah, we found those pornographic computer games. I tried blackmailing the White House with it, but that didn't work. So, should I take over their computer? I said, no, I noticed. Hmm, they might have noticed if we hadn't unplugged the system to vacuum. There weren't enough power points. Then, he tried to sell some of the information to the newspapers. Except all that they were interested in was the pornography. <laughs> yeah, Roger Cook exposed Armour as a sleazoid. <laughs> uh, oh, he wanted to help him with some car batteries. Oh. Do you really think he knows what he's doing? Let's just say one of these days he's going to succeed. And I've got a feeling I'm going to be in the same room. Mm. Couch, come with me. This. Dirt. Remove it now. It's a good fresh a minute anyway. I want a proper job done. Do it with your hands. You what? There's a 50 ton killer brownie down there. No excuses. Do it or I'll do you. And get rid of that bloody hat. Oh wow. Uh, do you want these? The law says that the arresting officer must accompany you to your place of exile. Unfortunately, that's me. I'd rather be in my nice warm office. Do you remember my nice warm office? It's not so warm now because of the hole. Do you remember the hole? The big hole? The one that you caused with your taxi? Do you remember your taxi? The one that's still parked on my desk. Do you remember my desk? The one I was sitting behind when you flew your taxi through the front of the police station. I'd be honoured if you'd join me for dinner. Some other time, perhaps. I'd be honoured if you'd join me for dinner! I'd love to. Too sexy for my love, too sexy for my love, love's going to leave me.
wait to get these shots developed tonight. Now I almost repaired the photo enlarger, we can complete our life-size combo cutout, Kirsty. Yeah. Um, I've been thinking. Very unwise. Don't you think it's a bit sick and twisted that we're taking photos of this girl while she's undressing, and then spending four weeks constructing a life-size cutout of her? Of course it's sick and twisted, but you have to admit it's bloody good fun. <clears throat> Hello, my beauty. <laughs> Evening, Norman. I mean, uh, Elmer. Uh, any calls? Ah, uh, yes, one for me. So, will you be a good little munchkin and go out to Miss Brandon's to do some installation? She might drop the proceedings if we didn't for free. Um, us? Yes, of course we can. Good, good. That's settled then. It's experiment 514 in the storage room. And working base Witchcraft Productions were cracking open the champagne tonight. Their latest release, Dragonheart 3, smashed Jurassic Park's long-standing box office records. Founder of Witchcraft and director Chris Kirk is said to be pleased, while rival Steven Spielberg is speaking of a merger, but nothing is confirmed. And now the weather. Tonight you can expect some troublesome high pressure for anyone travelling to the Brighton Festival as there will be thunderstorms scouring the south coast tonight. So take care wherever you happen to be going. That's it from me. Good night. Thanks, lad. Can I get you anything? Oh, I like Don't some... tell me. Milk, right? Yeah. How did you know? I see you every morning coming home from work and you're always carrying a carton of milk. Ah! Just see me looking like a complete shit! Drilling milk down my gross unwashed t-shirt! You mean the one where you wrote shit happens on the back of it with an arrow pointing to your bottom? The very same. Damn! What must you think of me? No worries. It's only time to look like a real man. Being sweaty, stubbly and dressed to smell may be your idea of being sexy, but it sure ain't mine. outside my house for months. <sighs> Damn good milk. We'll never finish the cardboard cutout now. Don't worry, we'll think of something. What was that? Elmer, the noisy sod. I think it's time we found out what he's up to. Yeah, come on. My life's work, my week's work, is complete. Not only have I created a machine capable of monitoring microscopic holes in the space-time continuum, but it's got Nikon stereo as well. Turn on the computer. Turn on the electroweak generator. Turn on the radio beam. Come to that turn on the radio. I like music while I work. <laughs> now turn on the transformer. God damn it. I just fried Kirsty's pussy. What? Three months of work. A month of building the thing. A week of programming and there's an electric egg whisk shorting out the terminals. It's a good thing the cat was in there. Or the whole voltage would have gone through to the machine.
It smells like a Chinese takeaway in here. Shall I go up and disconnect the extension cable? I only sent you up there because I couldn't answer that question you asked. Besides, chances of lightning hitting the golf flag are hundreds to one. Mm. Unless you sent a negative electric charge through it. What, you mean connected to something electrical? The opposite electrical polarity would uh, attract a lightning bolt. Anyway, uh, this end of the extension isn't even plugged in. But I plug the extension in the transformer. No, it's unloading. Pull the plug. Oh. Oh. The walls are stretching. What? Oh no, I really don't need this to do. What a gorgeous meal, if I may be permitted, for a bedsheet, you're a bit of a babe. You two-timing bastard, you'll die for this! Welcome to Nurgo, Mr. Chauffeur. Your molecules are being reassembled right now. My two friends. Oh God, reality's gone on the blink. Then you better kiss me. Wow, colour. And now the weather. In the south, reality will be extremely patchy, and there will be some light outbreaks of insanity in the north. And please drive carefully, as there are packs of wild giant llamas on most of the motorways. So take care wherever you happen to be going. Good night.
Is it on? Is it recording? Yes, it's all working nicely. Yes, this great new invention of mine. Anyway, I'll tell you about that later. My name is Elmer Kohlenbach. My game is helping Ferryman Chauffeur. He's your sort of basic hero, but a fool, nonetheless. Then there's a bad guy. The Grand Lord Admiral Heavy Dude bad guy. Mean sort of chap, really. Anyway, he runs the planet No-Go. A prison planet, if you please. Surrounded by a force field known as One Way. Anyway, I'll let you find out the rest for yourselves. Goodbye. Chauffeur, thank God you made it. Here are the keys to my car. You remember your mission, don't you? My mission? I don't even remember my name. Mr. Blades, how could we lose them? Mr. Lisby is not going to be a happy chappy. Come on, we better go find them. Yes, okay. I'll plead your case. Thank you. Look! It's, um, uh, uh, Vinny! Yeah, him. Uh, is he alright? I think he's dead. No, 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 he's breathing. Look. Bloody comms link! Comms link? Yeah, I'm trying to contact the community. Community? What the hell's the community? They're the people who brought you here. Mr. Swisher? We found them. Let's go! Blades! Swisher! <laughs> Peace, sir. 
see. Let's get out of here. It's still alive! Only two of them. That's two too many. What are you on? Shut up and come on. You want something done properly? Do it yourself. Question, but does anyone know exactly where we are? You're right. That is a silly question. I wish I had an answer for you. The answer! It's all in the hair! Um, anyway, um, who was this Vinnie person? The chap who was killed? Did you know him? No, I didn't know him. He knew you. Oh, um, he must have been mistaken. why we are here. Well, now you've come to mention it, I don't exactly remember who I am. Well, does anyone? Reading a passage from the vehicle. Hmm. Could just be the vehicle's drives overheating. Just in case. Sir, a report coming in. The rebels are getting further out of hand. Right, we better get back there. Mr. Swisher, launch a probe to scan for wreckage in that crash. Aye, sir. This is Dr. Twice Daily. Yes. 
There it is, your lordship. The device that can set us all free. Mm, really? Let's be. Thank you, my dear. <laughs> With just one touch of your remote control, you can release the most deadly virus ever to ravage no-go. I've had the power to release the most deadly virus to ravage no-go for the past 30 years. What makes this one so special? This doesn't just kill, sir. It destroys on a molecular level. It can eat away at the no-go field itself and set us all free. So it's being tested, then, Quail Mouse? Not exactly. You see, we've only got one shot at it. If the virus is attracted to the no-go field and eats it away, hip hip hooray. But if it's faulty in any way and has no effect on the field, it will be the most deadly virus ever to ravage no-go and kill everything on the entire planet. So what I hold in my hand is the one thing that can set us free forever and we can wreak revenge on the community that put my people here so many years ago. But we can never use it in case it kills us. Indeed, sir. Because we have no way of testing this device except in the specially controlled science lab through the window. But since we cannot duplicate the no-go field ourselves, there's no way of testing it. Absolutely correct, Your Lordship. So what you're saying is, it's useless? Exactly! Quail Mouse, you're such a muppet. Oh. Let's see if this actually works. <laughs> this be take out the trash immediately, sir. <laughs> better. No, it isn't. So what you're saying is that this is a teleport system that is actually a safety measure in case the car is about to crash? That is the most basic way of putting it, my dear. So why didn't we use it? <laughs> well, none of you asked me. Right. The automatic repair system is fully operational, so we should be up and running in about an hour or so. So let's go. Right. find something that will tell me anything about myself. That's a good idea. Hmm. Anything? What? Oh. No, not a thing. Damn typical, isn't it? Anything? 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 I don't need to, I know who I am. Really? Who are you? I'm me! Right, fine. Where's he gone? Who? You know, him. Who, him? You know, the other one. Oh, him! Right, that's the one. Where's he gone? Who? Don't you start! Listen, we agreed to stick together! We'll call out to him! Fine. Hang on. Who do I call to? I don't know, just shout out! I can't just shout out, love! I mean, God, anybody could be listening and I don't want any Tom, Dick or Harriet coming up to us! 
let's just double back to the car. He may be there. Right. <laughs> Oh no, they are still alive. Mr. Lispy will not be a happy chap. I have bet you anything that they will blame this on me. You have car? Yes. You have car that fly? What about it? You have car that fly through air? <laughs> Greetings and salutations. I am Moju, leader of the Modi Men, and this, your escort, is my deputy, Mold. I would offer you a leaf or two, but as you landed without my permission, you're such sad some weedy looking people. It looks like my men will eat meat today. You're not with the Admiral, are you? Oh, no, no, no. Ooh. Mold, prepare the spit. Can't eat us. Why are they not, my dear? Hang on, mate. You know, we've lost our memories. She's just too tasted to eat. I mean, look at the state of this one. You're right. They wouldn't be very satisfactory, you know. But you do. So are the one tied to the tree. Excellent. Now, hang on. Yeah, let's go. Did you realize that I, that is my moody men and I, were the first crims here over 50 years ago? Has it been that long? Moody seems like this. Odie men, pick up your weapons and bring back my lunch. I don't believe it! What is it, Lispy? It's nothing, sir. Lispy, I'm bored. Give me something to do. As you say, sir. Well, while I was putting a stop to the uh, rebels, there were, um, four new arrivals, sir. There aren't any new arrivals scheduled until next week. Exactly, sir. But, but, but as soon as they appeared, Vinnie Player greeted them. But that's not for another three weeks. Unless... What happened? Mm. They escaped in Vinny's car, sir. I... Mm. I thought I shot them down, but... Uh, uh, my probe just reported that they... Uh, they, in actual fact... <laughs> they, uh, you know, survived. <laughs> Reaccess the probe.
multiple sources of life forms, huh? I'd do better than that if I were you, Lisby. Oh, right. Um, what if I intensify the strength of the beam? Got them! Okay, I ripped my jumper! Extraneous vortices! Uh, 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 has, has the car repaired itself yet? Look at the configuration of the orifices! Uh, um, yes, uh, well, no, not really. Cursed to be a loving your own push. Look at that! A full 5.3 centimetres in diameter! You're not serious, are you? I don't know if anybody heard this amazing fact about the tree that snagged my jump. Well, actually, uh, what bloody hell are you talking about? Well, it all started with this branch. And actually, well, the end of the branch sort of snapped off, and as we were running towards the car, I had time to count the rings. You'd be quite surprised how old the tree was. And um, what tree is this? The tree I snagged my jumper on! Please! Let's forget about pushing. Just take off, will you? Take off! OK, OK, OK. Oh. Uh, what the hell? Look, why don't you leave it to the experts? <laughs> Sir, they've taken off and they're heading into space. What do we do? And where will they appear? On the far side of Dogo no Moon, sir. Then hadn't we better go and greet them, Lispy? Sir. <laughs> Is everyone all right? What do you think, idiots? I was only checking. Then you'll be interested to know about this hole I acquired. <laughs> Does everybody know you? Looks like it. Oh. Oh. I don't remember them. <laughs> Why does everybody keep shooting at us? They're not being us! Being I don't know about you, but I'm not going to be lovely! Love is a disease! It's like a rotten apple. It must be stamped out! <laughs> <laughs> Next time on Three Million Yards Before Lunch. They've just been revived, sir. Absolutely.